Hey everybody, Sam Burge here with another World Peacekeepers action figure review. Um, this lineup's kind of new. Um, this one is called the Green Beret. We'll take a little close-up look at him inside the box right now. Oh, let me back it up. Boom. So there he is. Not a bad figure. Um... I don't know what made me pick this one. Um, I was looking for another figure to review, and this one kind of just popped up. I kind of liked his getup, how his costume looks. He kind of looks like um, Stallone's uh, The Expendables. He kind of looks like that's what I'm kind of getting the vibe from. If you kind of look through the accessories and stuff, he's got a little camouflage vest, gun holster to the side, looks like a, um, I want to say an AK-47, but it looks like a 42, might be an AK-42, I'm not sure, comes with a grenade launcher attachment, comes with, uh, looks like a hat, I don't know what the real proper name for those types of hats are, but you see them in military movies, comes with a lot of little accessories, another set of binoculars, Another thing he comes with is hand grenades and a watch. And a nice little decent feature that I uh, seen on this figure was he does come with a dog tag setup. Scope it looks like. So I can't really wait to unpackage him and look at him. But let's see. Not too bad. There's a few things I want to talk about that I did have a problem with this figure with. And... One of the main problems is the packaging was kind of damaged. As you can see, I was a little upset. It's a little scuffed up. You can actually see some scuffs and stuff if you hold it in the right light. I mean, I do plan on collecting this figure, but at the same time, I was a little upset by how much um, how much damage this box took overall. If you actually look, you can actually see the divot where it looks like something laid on it and um, I do want to show the back of the box so this is what my guy is right here and then this is the whole team so I guess these are like green beret the green brits but like different versions you got like what I would call your camouflage or well, your desert eagle or whatever desert patrol and then you got your forest patrol but I mean there you go. So I got this guy right here, but I don't have any of the others. I might collect them and go through, but I'm not sure if Amazon has all these guys. I'm kind of going with what they suggest next, and if I haven't bought it. So, um, you know, that's kind of how I'm going with the, the setup, is just going as I see them. But, um, yeah, not a bad setup. Um, like I said, the box is a little iffy. I don't really like it, the fact that it came damaged. It's going to kind of make it stick out and look bad amongst the rest. But, you know, beggars can't be choosers. But, um, yeah, let's open this guy up and see what's inside. Now, Roddy, everybody, I decided to go with a more hands-on approach because some people say I'm not close enough to see some of the details on these props and toys, even though I'm going to do pictures at the end. But, um, let's check out some of these props. Um, here's a pair of headsets that came with the toy itself. Um, it's kind of like the one that, that CSI, CIA agent came with. A little flimsy, just held on by pegs. 
No, I mean, not bad details. Like, like I said, it's like the one the CSI agent had. Held on by pegs. It's a little headset. It's not bad. Um, I did try it on the figure. I did a lot of, like, dress-ups with this. And, like, uh, yet again, this is one of those toys where it's, like, it's a little bit too big for the actual figure. So, like, when it sits on there, it looks a little ridiculous. I mean, it's not bad. Well put together. Nice prop. And uh, they, he came with uh, these two grenades. Very nice details. A lot more detailed than the other two that I got before. They only were like silver and black. This one's like, you know, olive green and black. Which ain't too bad. It's just like the spies um, grenades that he had. Got the one with the twist top. And then you got the one with the pin and handle set up. So yeah, it's just like what I had with the uh, 007 wannabe Bond action figure. Okay, there's one piece I do want to show, but I really want to get over some of these features on the actual other parts of the doll. I put these on for your pleasure. So, um, let me zoom out. Okay, so here is a wristwatch. And it, it goes on pretty easy. Um, if I could say the style of putting this watch on is like your uh, average WWE belt. Depending on how they do it now these days. But um, usually it's just a little loop right there. Some rivet parts to the watch wristband. You just pop it in. Holds it in place. Holds on nicely. It does come with a um, the hat. The hat is just one big solid piece of plastic. Real soft. Not too bad. I mean, if you step on it, you're probably going to feel it. If you step on top of it and whatnot, you're probably going to crack it. So, yeah, it's one of them toys. Another, uh, stand out of the way. Another set of binoculars. Olive green. I was looking to see if this one had the weird funny writing, because someone's all like, I don't know what you're talking about with the funny writing. If you look on the side. Huh. The last pair of binoculars I got with the action figure, there was this weird writing on the side of it. I kid you not. But, um, yeah, it's not on this one. Alrighty. So then let's look at the other accessories and look what's fell out. His handgun. Yeah. <laughs> this holster is god awful. I'm not too fond of the setup. It's literally just a band. Strapped around his leg, nothing to connect it to his waist, and the gun has just got awful. You know, let me just set this down real quick. I'll get this upper view. And so, like, I'll put the holster in. Alrighty, so look at that. So, let's pretend you're just a kid and you're wanting to, like, you know, make a GI Joe move. It doesn't fall out, but God, look, <laughs> look how, look how ridiculous this thing holds to the character. It's not that great. It's just like, uh, and the whole, the, the pistol does not stick in this holster. It does not. It just, you can literally just drop it in there and just hope for the best that it stays. I don't know. There's no belt to this figure. So like my advice, it's one of those things. It's like. I don't know when, who makes these toys, I don't know who designs the figures, you know, but I mean, if you're really honestly going to have a side holster, please actually try to make it look as close as to what it's supposed to be, or actually look and function the way it's supposed to be. If this is a side holster, there should be a strap that comes up and rings into a belt, but it don't. They just put one strap on there and said, there you go, that's good enough, and it's really not. And I'm pretty sure this is the same holster that I got with my um, CIA figure. But yeah, it was kind of crazy to see this. I was just like, this is kind of ridiculous. Another thing I do want to point out is look at this sh <laughs> Look at this shoe. Like, yeah, you know, look at that. Look at those shoes. Like, some Nikes going on there. What the hell? Like, I get it. This guy is probably just like sort of like an informant or a mercenary you know some type of average joe that doesn't need a lot of technical gear like i said he kind of does remind me of uh stallone's expendables where it's like yeah they're kind of like you know they're men that are trained to fight in combat but at the same time they kind of wear casual things like this 
I don't know. <laughs> I th I didn't know his shoes were black and white Nike looking shoes. Yeah, they're like shoe shoes. They kind of look like the fancy dress shoes. Yeah. Yeah, they kind of look like the CIA's fancy dress shoes, but like painted differently to look like sneakers, I guess. Who knows? I mean, I'm not going to judge too badly. <laughs> I mean, that's for the end when I talk about the figure. Let's get to the piece of resistance I like. This gun. Um, so, this, this was what I was talking about beforehand when I was talking about um, having a gun that comes with accessories and just actually just it works for the gun if anyone's ever seen my CIA um, Vin Diesel looking review you'll realize that um, it came with this large over the top looking scope attachment and I did not like it I was not particularly fond of the setup I felt like it was a little it was pathetic to be honest it wasn't that yeah it wasn't the world's best didn't like it didn't care for it kind of looked ridiculous but this little AK I'm, I'm saying it's an AK-47 correct me if I'm wrong I'm pretty sure it's something totally off the net because the magazine is way too large but if anyone knows the proper name for this gun go for it I'm just gonna call it the AK Maybe it might be an AK for you. It's just I'm used to it being like this. Sorry, Black Ops knowledge. That's all I really have with some of these guns. Man, I've shot an AK-47, been there an AK-40U. But um, it comes with this like I thought this was a grenade launcher, and then I realized this was a clip, and then I'm like, oh, this is like a silenced gun, or maybe like a secondary machine gun or something. You know, so he's not blasting this thing all the time. He can sort of shoot it. It looks like a silencer at the end. So just a, might be attachable, you know, pistol kind of setup, silencer. Maybe used to take out tactic, you know, take out people without making too much noise with this main gun. Does come with a scope. Like I said, does have a folding stock. Folding stock sets pretty well. Not bad, pretty sturdy. I was actually happy with this like setup. I was like, oh, that's kind of cool. So you can like, you can have it like this. Only bad part is it only goes to one side, so it doesn't have that. You can't go to left or right, depending on how you want your character holding it. But it ain't too bad. And then you get the uh, adjustable. It's just really wow. It's just a really good detail on the gun. I mean, the paint job given is a little iffy, but not like god awful bad. Just a few spots where you can see where some of it kind of poured into the crevices where it wasn't supposed to be. But other than that, really good craftsmanship. The uh, these two attach these two are attachments. They do come off. You just kind of just they're a little bit hard to get off. But you have to like pull. You gotta kind of like pull back and then pull forward because they kind of click into place. This thing just slides off the rail. It's not bad. There's the gun without the attachments. Not a bad piece. I actually like it. I have all some of the weapons I've gotten because most of the weapons I got for some of these uh, figures have been submachine guns, assault rifle. So this would be like the second assault rifle I got, or a rifle, or sub rifle, whatever. Correct me if I'm wrong, I'm just going over just at the fact that it's like most of these figures come with hand pistols and hand machine guns, but very few in a rifle form I've seen so far that I've gotten in this collection. I'm just curious. I forgot to do the old, does the clip come out of the mag? Nope, it does not. It's a solid piece. I always like to check that. Every time I get one with a clip or something, I'm just like better check and make sure that the clip stays in put. And this thing don't even have a holster for it. Alrighty, so um, I'm going to get my thoughts and reviews on this figure and let you all know what I think. So enjoy. Hey everybody, Sam Birch here and I'm here to talk about the figure. Let's um, really honestly just kind of uh, talk about the pros and cons I'd say. Pros, the guns. I feel like the AK-4U or AK-47, whichever gun this thing is uh, copying off of, 
was a really good accessory because it also had attachments that actually worked for it. I know I said earlier in the video when I was reviewing these parts that the CIA figure was um, kind of ridiculous for having that huge scope and it really kind of ruined the figure. Well, in this case, this figure had two attachments and it actually improved onto the character, which was a really interesting, nice setup, but in the long run, it, I feel like it improves it. Um, a lot of the props we have seen before, like I said, the uh, hand grenades, the headsets, binoculars, those are ones I've seen in other, you know, my other reviews. And um, so it wasn't really too bad, you know, it seems like they kind of do like to recycle a lot of their props into other things, which isn't bad if it's done right, you know. Don't give a cowboy a lightsaber because you have spares kind of ordeal I'd say would be the worst thing to put it as but um with these accessories that they have it's kind of nice that you know they come with an appropriate figure in the long run. Um, a new accessory that I seen was the watch. I gotta say I'm really glad that the watch kind of had the um, in and out system of weaving it in then just uh, the what I would call your standard belt peg where it's just like the one strap has holes and one has two pegs I always find those annoying because it seems like those kind of setups on the straps always seem to like fall off easier so it was kind of nice to have the watch feature have that so that's a good setup um other than that I could say my my number one complaint my actual number one complaint if I could say anything that ruins this figure at all is yet again, and I feel bad, it's the holsters for the pistols. It seems like the, these um, peacekeep, well, Peacekeeper figures are two for two on having holsters that don't um, properly work for the figure. Like I said before in the CSI one, it's like you put the pistol, um, you put the pistol in his, on his shoulder strap and it kind of just limps and falls out of place and looks ridiculous when it could have been solved with a cross the chest strap to hold it all in place yet again this figure suffers the same fate with having a side holster and when you put it on it just slowly just falls off the leg um, the strapping system doesn't hold it in place. I mean, if I could recommend a fix for this, then I would just say else A, kind of super glue it to the character's pants, or B, make a strap and fix that problem. But this is like something I would say that's like, it's kind of like the manufacturer's downfall on it because they're making this toy and it's like, it looks good in the package, but when you get it out and actually move it around and play with it, it just falls off completely. Um, I'm, that's why I'm kind of glad I'm putting this back in the package and letting it sit there because other than that, your kid's probably going to get mad from this thing falling off, throw it across the floor, or it's going to get lost. It's going to be one of those accessories that just lose value because it doesn't work properly. And that's how I feel about it. Probably the worst downfall of this figure. There's another thing that I do want to sort of like side complain about. It's not a big deal because like I said before, when I first seen this figure and kind of the setup it had going on, I was thinking mercenary was the shoes. I don't know why the shoes are like that. I, I find it a little ridiculous. Like I didn't see the character's shoes until I got him out of the box and I'm sitting there just kind of looking at him like, well, why does he have shoes? Why does he have Nikes on? So, like I said, I don't know why this character comes with a Nike setup with, I mean, I was expecting boots or combat boots or combat shoes, something that looks like military grade, but no, um, we get this uh, Expendables uh, look-alike guy with a pair of Nikes. <laughs> I don't know. Um, if I could put an analogy on uh, how I feel like, like whatever, just how I feel about this, these shoes on this character. It's like they're not bad shoes, but it's just like what this guy's meant for. <laughs> He's going to look like odd as hell, you know? Or is that like his trademark, you know? Is he the Nike Merc, you know? 
who knows. But um, other than that, I mean, I would definitely rate this figure, I'd say four out of five because it's not too bad. There's a couple things I question. The holster kind of kills it for me because it's like it's there but it doesn't really serve or work as it should. I feel like it was kind of a cheap attempt when the design was made. Um, maybe at one point they had a uh, belt and a strap for that holster so it'd hold better. I don't know. Other than that, thank you all for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe and have a nice day.